Good morning, and welcome to today's presidential debate. I'm your moderator, Ben Warpup. Huntington North is in the midst of a new presidential change. Our two candidates are here to answer your tough questions. Let's meet both candidates. Introducing Toronto Dump and Salary Clinton. Our first question to the two candidates. What will you do to make school lunch the greatest it's ever been? It's pretty nutritional. I mean, I think it already is the best it's ever been. I don't think we can go uh, further up from here. I really enjoy school lunch. That's where you're wrong, Hillary. If we just build a wall around the cafeteria, we won't have those visitors coming in and eating all of our food. We need to make the portions bigger, huge. That's what we need, huge portions bigger portions, huge. We're gonna make it great again. We're gonna make the school lunch great again. Our next question comes from several students. How are they going to pay for their MacBooks? Well, this mic is useless, I don't need it. I'm gonna speak loud enough for everyone to hear. We're gonna have everyone pay for their own MacBooks. We don't need none of this, you know, Financial assistance, everyone's paying for their own. We're gonna make it big, we're gonna make it huge. It's gonna be great again. MacBooks, great again. Great, wonderful, great again. See, Tronald, that's exactly where you're wrong. We need to split these costs up over four years. We need to make sure each student can pay for their wrong. MacBooks. Wrong. You need to think about everyone, wrong. not just the top wrong. 1%. Wrong, 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 wrong. Next up may be the most important question of the entire debate. Wrong. How will you go about getting more two-hour delays for students? Well, I think we already have the perfect amount of two-hour delays. I think we do a great job of keeping the delays in an area where we use them wisely, and I think, I think we're on the right track already. Wrong. Our next question is about the parking lot. How will you stop students from double parking? You know, students are going to be students. They're going to double park. You never know what's going to happen, especially when you get to Diesel Row, but it's just the way it's going to be. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to agree with her there. Um, I mean, we, get, we need to let people park where they want to park, you know. It's a free world, free parking lot. You can park wherever you want. If you want to double park, triple park, quadruple park, I don't really care. You know, let everyone park where they want to park. It doesn't matter. We're going to build a wall anyway. We're going to make it huge. We're going to make H&HS great again. This brings us to the final question of our debate. A recent poll has said that 99% of students fear an apocalypse is coming to Huntington North. Do you believe that fellow Vikings should be stocking up on canned goods? I would have to say yes, by far. Far and large, we need to be stocking up on everything we can. It's going to be coming soon, it's going to be huge, and we need to be ready. I think we need to take a step back. I don't think zombie apocalypse is going to happen. Wrong. Uh, and Wrong. most importantly, have you seen The Walking I, Dead? I think, have you seen think, The Walking Dead? I think we need to stay away have you, have you from the guns. Have you let's seen not, The Walking Dead? Everyone says that I'm wearing a wig, but have you seen this one? <laughs>